Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sly here with Flo. And Flo, we're watching, uh, we're listening to 95.7 The Game, and Baldinger came up, and he had a few things to say, a lot of stuff about playoff implications and uh, what's going on there. But the thing that popped out was Jake Moody. Everyone, it seems like, is talking about the whole situation, the missed field goals. Uh, but let's hear what Baldy had to say, and we'll talk about it. And Baldinger, They're Jake Moody. Out. Hey, Baldy, he missed we're, one extra We're freaking, freaking out about out. Jake Moody. Uh, sh should Niners fans be worried about a missed chip shot field goal, now missed extra point for the rookie kicker? I mean, I'm sure he's happy that his Michigan team won, but, I mean, how are Niners fans feeling about their rookie kicker heading into the playoffs? I always would be worried, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you got, I mean, if you're not worrying, you're not, you're not working. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, Aubrey, you know the, the kid in Dallas hasn't missed a field goal all year. Justin Tucker doesn't miss field goals. So if you miss a kick and an extra point, you're worried. But there's nothing you can really do about it. You have to, if, if that something like that happens, you have to overcome it. But if it's to win a game and you miss, like, you won't be able to live with yourself. You know, so, I mean, I, I'd be worried. I, I just would. Because some of these, sometimes these kickers go sideways quick. Yeah. It just does. Um, you know, it's the way, it, it, I, I remember when, uh, Minnesota beat Atlanta in 1998. Atlanta's kicker had made 40 in a row. Oh, no, the other and side, Baldy, Minnesota. I knew, you're, side. I knew you were going to go there. That was yeah. on the top of my That's mind. Right. I was thinking about that game in the Metro That's Dome right. when the Dirty Birds went to Minnesota. And who was it, yeah. uh, Gary Anderson? Gary Anderson yep. had made 40 in a row. Yep. And then he missed a kick to win the game. Yep. You know, so, like, you always worry about kickers. You always worry about returners putting the ball on the ground. Mm. Uh, I was in Dallas. We had a rookie Punt returner, fumbled in the end zone. Washington got it. I mean, Hail to the Redskins was being played. I hadn't gotten that song out of my head yet. You know, like it's I, – I worry about – I would worry about all that stuff. No, you're, you're right. It, it could come down to a single play, and Ray Ray McLeod is back because Ronnie Bell is putting the ball on the turf a little bit. Um, so, no, those, those are areas to be worried about. All right, man. So, <laughs> kind of, he pretty much said exactly how I feel. Concerned as hell, man. And I was talking about this with a friend yesterday. I was like, if it's coming down to the wire, we're down by two points driving, and we know Jake Moody has a kick, a game-winning kick, I swear I might have a heart attack because, man, it's so, oh, oh my, I don't know, man. It just, my blood pressure gets crazy, and it's nervous, man. I would be nervous, uh, but what do you feel about this whole situation, what Baldinger said? And kind of how we're kind of <laughs> gonna have to roll with them, man. Yeah, well, actually, uh, Baldinger said two things: not just kicking, but also just punt returners, kick returners. That's also another situation we're in too. Where oh yeah, we're struggling yeah. in that department too. But that's just playoff football. Sometimes the chips just fall a certain way. Hopefully, he got these misses out before this playoff happened, yeah. and that might be a good thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Now he's finally missed. He doesn't have that pressure. He goes back to the freaking Vikings. Uh, Falcons yes. was that the ninety seven playoff that game? That was ninety seven. Ninety seven and perfect. their kicker was perfect, perfect. Going, going into it. Perfect. So it doesn't really even matter where you're at. It just depends. When you're in that situation, if you could just focus in, laser in and get the job done. Mm -hmm. Um the one good thing that we have going for us history wise, the last time we went to Super Bowl, I think we had a rookie kicker. A rookie kicker. So yeah. maybe this is just kind of like one of those destiny things that things are lining up again that way. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm gonna keep a positive outlook because I want good vibes to go because I know we're going to need this guy. Obviously, most Super Bowls come down to field goals. All those Patriots Super Bowls, Vinatieri came in clutch. Um, who else? The, um, yeah, Vinatieri is the one that comes to mind. Comes to mind <laughs> yeah, but, for everybody. Yeah, a lot of times uh, those, those field goal kickers are the determining factor. It usually comes down to that last drive. It's rare when a team drives all the way and scores a touchdown to finish off games. I know mm. Pittsburgh did it and the Giants did it, but most of the time it does come down to those field goals. So, we got to ride with Moody, obviously. We've already gone this far, so uh, hopefully he doesn't freaking let us down, and hopefully he does something special in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, like, who's a kicker? Remember the Bills? That had, they oh, like, yeah. That one's rough, man. I feel sorry for Bills fans because they're right there, and he goes wide left. It was like Ray Finkel, man. Help, but he, Ray Finkel did help the Niners win that Super Bowl that year. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch uh, Ace Ventura throwback. But, uh, man... I, I hear uh, I hear Baldy man. He's hundred percent correct. If you're a Niner fan, they're all talking about it. But everyone's talking about one guy bringing him back, and that's Robbie Gold. And me personally, yeah, I'm gonna do it. However, I'm a hundred percent sure John Lynch Kyle 
Adam Peters. They're rolling. They're rolling with Moody. Like it's and they're all in with him. And I mean, I to a degree, I, I get what they're doing here. I get what they don't want to ruin anything. And um, they're bringing in other dudes. It seems like every week they're bringing in other new dudes, but it's not kickers, not one of them, man. So they're gonna roll with him. And uh, he he made the great point though about Will Anderson. I remember that like it was yesterday. That was a Super Bowl that we all wanted. The Vikings, Broncos. Uh, Vikings, one of the best offenses of all times. Broncos, another great offense. You had, um, it would have been Randy Moss and Chris Carter uh, going deep. Uh, who was the quarterback? Cole Pepper, I think. Cole Pepper. Uh, Cole Pepper um, or Johnson. It was one of those guys. But it was, um, that would have been an amazing Super Bowl. And the guy was perfect, and it sucked because it happened in the game. You were at the game, so you didn't hear the color commentary. The main guy that was doing the commentary he seriously jinxed us because right before the kick, he's like, Jake Moody is perfect on field goals all year. He's been amazing. <laughs> Boom, miss. Then he's like, oh, he's been really good inside the 40. He hasn't missed all. Boom, missed again. And I was like, oh, no. Like, this is bad, man. And it did happen in preseason. Remember in preseason where he was missing field goals and then Kyle set him up to the 40-yard line. Who was it against where we actually or we won one preseason game? I think it was the Chargers. No, the one – who did we play? It, was the, it wasn't the Raiders. Raiders got blown up by the Raiders. But it was one of those teams, and he got right down to like the 20, and he barely made it. I was like, oh, shit, man. We might be in for a long season. And it's weird because after that game against um, Cleveland, he'd been really good, steady for us. But, you know, we're bringing him up again later in the year. So, I don't know, man. I really hope that he's able to get it together. Maybe he could be rejuvenated because his college team just won the NCAA tournament with Jim Harbaugh. So, um, hopefully he could get it together because, man, we need him. We need him now. And um, it just we really haven't had to rely on him that much just because we've scored so many damn touchdowns. I think he's only kicked, was it 21? Um, 21, 29, uh field goal kick so it's like one of the lowest in the NFL because you know we're usually getting touchdowns out there so if it comes down to it hopefully he could hit it man because I don't think we're gonna go out and get Robbie Gold man yeah no I'm pretty sure they're gonna be rolling with yeah. Moody um and they invested a third round pick too so they're not really gonna get rid of them like they invested there are so many other guys out there so the fact that they got the third round they're not gonna just like throw them to the uh can and be like oh we're done with that so yeah i'm pretty sure they're gonna <laughs> be rolling with them man yeah the only good thing he does have going for him we're gonna be at home yeah so, yeah even though, even, though we're miss, at home, even though he just missed at, at home, home yeah. but still in the playoffs he'd be a little more confident he's not gonna have the crowd freaking going crazy to try to uh spook him you know mm -hmm. so he does have that going for him because man could you imagine having to hit one of those field goals on the road mm -hmm. especially if you're in somewhere like dallas or philadelphia as a rookie uh, that, that would be rough especially coming off a miss like this so yeah. luckily he does have the uh the benefit of being at home for these playoffs and, but it, it's weird because it does happen where kickers they go in this funk remember last year we went up against maher um, it was something, it was, a. it was like two weeks before that it went in the Tampa Bay game where he just missed everything. And then going against the Niners, he whiffed on one, like it got blocked, but it was going to, it was going to hit, it was going to whiff too. So I don't know what it is. I'm not a, like, they're talking about, you're not a kicker. So we really don't know exactly what's going on, but it seems like there could be some psychological stuff to it. So hopefully... You know, I mean, he has a big leg, but dude, you got to make it, bro. Like, it doesn't matter if you have a big leg if you're missing these shots. So, um, we're going to roll with them, guys. And I, unfortunately, you know, Robbie Gold right now, they're saying that he's out there um, skiing, learning how to ski up in the slope. So, I'm not, I doubt that he's coming back, but um, it is nervous. But hopefully, our guys, uh, Brock Purdy and them, they know, hey, it's a sense of urgency. We want touchdowns. We don't want 45, 50 yard field goals because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say, but we don't want no slicing, man. Yeah, man. And you never want to put the game in the hands of a kicker. So, like a rookie said, kicker, a rookie you know. Kicker. So go out there, just get those touchdowns, make make life easier on yourself and us fans. And man. that's the thing with the '95, man. We had that rookie kicker. Um, we're scoring touchdowns, man. Yeah. I think what do you have? Six, seven touchdowns in that game, Steve Young. So we really we're like, screw that. We're not gonna make it rely on no damn kicker. We're getting touchdowns. Here you go, Ricky Waters. Here you go, Jerry Rice. Here you go, uh, Taylor. So I mean. It is what it is, but um, I I don't know. I don't know what to say if he's going to do good or not because I have no idea. But hopefully, man, just crossing your fingers, man. Get your little rosaries out. Get your little, um, those little things with the crosses. Get that all out, man. Get all superstitious things, stuff you have. Get it. When he's out there, man, uh, hopefully he makes them.
All right, well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about this ball and your take. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.